Good afternoon, I'm Monisa Klein here at GBTA 2021 convention here on the expo floor. We've got the expo going on behind us and it's great to be here to see a lot of our business travel industries uh, back in person, meeting in person, reconnecting and talking about the future uh, post uh, pandemic. And with me here today is Mr. John Gray from Rockport Analytics. John is the principal uh, for Rockport. John, welcome. Thank you, Manise. It's, it's wonderful to be here. It's great to have you. It's been great to have you. So I know a lot of people want to hear what you what news you have to share. So obviously, you and your team have been working with uh, with GBTA for many years, and you guys produced the Business Travel Index, which was launched today. The new edition was launched today. So. What were some of the interesting points and highlights that you can share with us? Yeah, well, thanks, Manis. The, so this study has been going on now for 13 years. Um, we've been doing it every year, and uh, I think it's pretty easy to say that this is the most anticipated year that we've ever had for the research findings, right? Um, I think everyone is pretty interested, uh, not only in uh, the performance of the global business travel market, uh, how it's doing region by region, but of course, where are we headed over the next few years? Um, so I think some of the most interesting findings is just what we've seen in terms of the divergence between different regions in the world as we've started to recover in some places in 2021, and in others, uh, we continue to lag. So were there any surprises for you, any uh, trend lines or anything that rose to the top, um, especially in the bigger global picture? I know people are curious about that. So what were any, any surprises there? So Yeah, I mean, the, the divergence again was a huge surprise, especially when we look at uh, markets like countries in Western Europe, for example, um, who actually we saw spending decline in 2021 after the spending declines in 2020. It was pretty much uniform in 2020, right? We know that business travel came to a halt. People just weren't able right. to go on these trips. Uh, we weren't able to do this, obviously, uh, in 2020. And so, you know, spending declined across the globe, uh, but we started to pick up in some places. Here in the U.S., uh, we gained, uh, we had a pretty healthy sort of comeback here in 2021. Obviously, we're a long ways from full recovery, um, but markets like Western Europe are really just getting started. Um, we have started to see a lot of momentum, though, uh, in those places, uh, especially in Western Europe as vaccination rates rise, as travel bans are lifted, right. um, and we're seeing a lot more bookings and a lot more business travel demand over the last month, month and a half. So 22 is looking much better for certain regions of the world. For That's sure. great, great. Everybody needs some positive, op, you know, good news for the future. And so people are very cautiously optimistic, I think, and you're validating that. Yeah, so that's absolutely. And this is the first step of cautious right. optimism is us all being here, right? Getting Together. to meet with our colleagues and, and do a meeting like GBTA convention is a, a great first step. Absolutely. So as we look ahead to the coming year, uh, what should the business travel industry, uh, what, what are some things that they might see come into play um, in, our, in our business? That yeah. crystal ball, share the crystal ball with us. Yeah, let's pull out the tea leaves here and <laughs> spread them across the table and, and see what we can figure out. Well, you know, we know that uh, the recovery is going to be driven by getting COVID cases down, getting the global population vaccinated. Uh, which is going to go hand in hand with starting to lift more of these travel bans, especially international business travel, which makes up about 25% of global travel spending in a normal year. None of that can come back till we can start to uh, get the world vaccinated and or continue with our vaccination effort to the point where we can open up borders again. We're starting to do some of that now. Um, the good news is that the, the economic underpinnings of the recovery are extremely strong. Uh, we see some of the strongest demand in both services and manufacturing. It's going to help drive business travel and we are ready to recover. So we see a lot of green shoots and we see uh, a, a fairly strong recovery over 22 and 23, but the key is really getting obviously the pandemic more under control. Right. Direct correlation, right? Absolutely. Right. Good. Well, John, it's great to uh, have you here with us. Is there anything else that you'd like to add or say to this audience? We've got a great opportunity of uh, corporate buyers and, um, and suppliers here and uh, any closing comments? 
Yeah, no, I just, uh, again, it's, it's really getting through these major impediments that we all have to do, and we're gonna get there, uh, right? We're, we're gonna get back to pre-pandemic levels of spending at some point. Um, we don't see anything that suggests that we're not gonna have a recovery, but it is gonna, it is gonna take contingent. time, no doubt. Okay, good. Great to have you. Thanks so much for spending time with us here at the broadcast studio, and I hope you have a great uh, rest of convention here this week in Orlando. Thank you. You Thank as you, well. Thank you, John. Thanks, Monice. Monice the Klein here at GBTA Broadcast Studio. Stay tuned. More to come.